What's going on, moviegoers? So if you're new to the channel, my name's Christian. Welcome to SeaWorld Productions, you guys. All right, let's talk about this rumor that's going around that Johnny Depp is in talks to play the Joker in the Matt Reeves Batman universe. Now, I knew this was going to be a problem when they announced a solo Joker movie starring Joaquin Phoenix. I knew that this was going to be a problem. Now, I loved, loved, absolutely adored Joaquin Phoenix and Todd Phillips in this Joker movie. It was one of my favorite movies last year, if not my favorite movie last year. But with that being said, they sat, Warner Brothers kind of sacrificed to do that film instead of having another iteration done in the Matt Reeves Batman world. I feel like they they sacrificed that to do that solo Joker movie. Now, I'm not mad at it. I mean, we got a fucking a stellar performance from Joaquin Phoenix in that film. A well-grounded movie. The only issue I have is it's like now you can't do that. You can't bring in another Joker for the Matt Reeves Batman trilogy. I feel like to have three Jokers... In the last six years, five years, four years, is too much. There is no need to have three different iterations of one character in the last four to five years. That just makes no sense to me. So, if this rumor turns out to be true, get ready for another iteration of Joker again. After we just saw Joaquin Phoenix. Now, what if Todd Phillips wants to do a sequel to his Joker movie? Okay, that gets greenlit by Warner Brothers. But then this this rumor turns out to be true that Johnny Depp is going to play Joker in the Matt Reeves Batman universe. That means you have two continuous Jokers still going on in different universes for the DCEU. And I feel like that's kind of stupid. It, it really is. Now, would I want to see another Joker done after Joaquin Phoenix? No, I really don't. I don't want to see another Joker done. I mean, it, it's hard to fill in the shoes of the the great ones. You know, Mark Hamill, um, Jack Nicholson, Heath Ledger. You know, now you have Joaquin Phoenix. Jared Leto's Joker, to me wasn't a well-written Joker. I've said this multiple times on my channel when I've talked multiple topics about, you know, Joker and Suicide Squad and things of that nature. He just wasn't a well-written Joker. If the studio decided to give, you know, uh, David Ayer more time to flush out characters, to, do, to actually flush out a better script, I feel like Jared Leto definitely could have performed more more of a, a better Joker than what we've gotten in... You know, the, you know, the first Suicide Squad film. Because all in all, we had maybe five minutes of screen time, and that's it. But apparently there was a whole lot of footage that was that, that was cut out from that film. Hashtag release the David Ayer cut. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I Like I said, this is... I, I think I did a, I, I think I, I did a video on this saying, you know, the Joker problem. Like when you're having too many Jokers in different universes, it, it, it gets to become this issue. And I feel like... Now that, you know, we had the Joaquin Phoenix Joker and damn near everybody loved his performance as Joker. I don't want to see another iteration done in this Matt Reeves Batman trilogy. And it's really unfortunate that I feel that way because this Matt Man, this Bat, uh, Matt Man, this Matt Man, <laughs> this Batman trilogy that Matt Reeves is boiling up over there. I feel like it's turning is going to turn out to be a masterpiece. I really do. And it's just unfortunate that we won't be able to see Robert Pattinson and Batman interact, you know, with a Joker if the studio decides not to do another Joker. That's the way I feel about it. But if the studio's like, okay, well, Johnny Depp is in talks to play, <clears throat> you know, this Joker, you you get a big sigh from me. <sighs> like, damn, really? We're, we're going down this route again? You know what I mean? You Jared Leto, he's... I mean, Jared Leto, Joaquin Phoenix, and now a new Joker, if this turns out to be true. I don't know. I don't know. I, like I said, this is just a rumor as of right now. I don't know how true this shit is. Even Boss Logics, 
I made Hiro Basaji. He's a fantastic illustrator. You know, works with you know, multiple studios. He did, he did his little iteration of Johnny Depp from the Fantastic Beast, and you know, transformed that into you know a Joker. And I was like, okay, I see it. You know, Johnny Depp is a grand, fantastic actor. Don't get me wrong, I love Johnny Depp. Um, but I just don't think it's a good idea to go down the route. And it's time we explore the world, the rogues gallery of Batman and his villains. There's so many villains. Why continue to do the same old villains? Why continue to recycle villains? I feel like it shouldn't be done. It shouldn't. And there's a lot of villains that they can use. A lot of villains that they should use. Now, hence, I will say this. I just don't hope this Matt Reeves Batman trilogy is more on the realistic realistic side of like Christopher Nolan's Batman because you limit yourself to the villains you can do you can't do the whole supernatural villains and shit like that and that is something I don't want to I don't want I want to step outside of that world and still deliver all the unique takes on Batman's villains like Clayface I always say this Clayface I need I need Clayface I need Man Bat or Batman Man Bat <laughs> I need ba Man Bat you know what I mean like you can't do that in a realistic Batman approach like Nolan's universe didn't have that feel to it. It was a, a realistic approach to, to the character. So I'm hoping that this Matt Reeves trilogy is something far different than that. You know what I mean? And we kind of had that in big, you know, with Ben Affleck's Batman. You know what I mean? But they, there just wasn't enough time to explore. So many things happened. Ben Affleck dropped out. It was just a thing. A lot of shit happened. And it's just unfortunate because Ben Affleck was the best Batman to me. You know what I mean? Batman be Superman. That warehouse scene when he was whipping much ass. Much ass. And I love that warehouse scene for the un the, the, the extended version of Batman versus Superman because there's more footage to it. Literally, like, there's just one scene where he you know the guy dives at him and he puts the guy on the ground. And in the, the original version, he punches him, I think, one time. In the uncut version, this fool punches that nigga three times. Just boom, he, boom, boom. And you hear this motherfucker screaming like... That is, that, that's it right there. I love that. But I'm curious to see what's going to happen, you guys. See um, if these rumors are true, you know. If, you know, Johnny Depp is in talks to play Joker. We'll see how true that is. But I don't know. I'm taking this with a grain of salt. But like I said, I have an issue with doing another Joker. I don't want it to be done. I don't. That's my final take on that. But push your comments down below. Blah, blah. <laughs> push your comments down below, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this rumor that Johnny Depp is in talks to play the Joker in the Matt Reeves Batman trilogy. Push your comments down below, you guys. Like the video. Share it. Thank you. It would be greatly appreciated, you guys. And take care. Peace.